everyone! Today we are on our way to the most delicious dumpling restaurant in Berlin! And he is testing our um, <laughs> our microphone because we have a proper setup now, y'all. It is serious, it is real. We are doing something more legitimate than we have done before. Anything you want to say for this test video? Okay, so let's go taste some dumplings! Hi everyone, today we are in front of the walk show which has, in my opinion, some of the best dumplings in Berlin. That's right, you heard it here first, the best dumplings in Berlin on handmade including the wrappers. They have so many different um, types of savory fillings um, from vegetarian to seafood to meat, any kind you want and for a really good value too. And they sell them by I believe the dozen so we're gonna be eating lots of dumplings so let's go check it out. So what we have here is um, basically a potato salad but what they do with the potato is that they cut it into strips then they flash fry it in the wok and they mix it with a whole bunch of spices and here you can see some cilantro and um, there's also bits of carrot in it as well so let's give this a try mm. super flavorful hint of chili really heavy on the garlic which is delicious if you love garlic it's a bit of nuttiness coming from, I believe, a bit of peanuts. And you can definitely get the fragrant smells of the cilantro. And of course, there's always a little bit of vinegar in these potato salads. So it gives it the extra sort of Moorish feeling that you just cannot stop eating. So I'm gonna go have another bite. Mm, so good. Okay, I actually remember this being my favorite dish last time I came here. And it's still is. <laughs> I love the, the garlic with the vinegar. It's just a really good combo. It's super refreshing, even though it hits you unexpectedly. I like that kick. It's a good kick. Now let's try the dumplings. Check them out. So this looks like a lot. There's 40 dumplings in here actually, because um, we ordered 20 of each flavor. So we got 20 pan fried of, in Chinese we call it san xian, which means three filling. Don't quote me on this, but I think there's prawns, uh, minced prawns, uh, minced scrambled egg, and cabbage or uh, pork, I'm not sure. But that's that's three filling. Um, and then we also got the classic pork and white cabbage. You can't go wrong with that. So yeah, let's have a taste. I'm gonna start with the closest one to me to shorten the distance to my mouth. Pork filling right there. And they have a really nice uh, crunch on the outside that you can see at the bottom there. So, mm, perfectly handmade dumplings. Can't go wrong. And I'm really looking forward to the next one. And also, side note, the rain is coming down like crazy and we're sitting outside and it's actually a little bit chilly. So, we are doing this for you guys, you know? Because, uh, good food doesn't matter where you are as long as it's good food am i right i'm gonna keep doing the mixing technique that's personally what i like the most so i'm just gonna pile it on top mm. Mm. man i'm the king of pork and cabbage <laughs> and it's the third in the row still tastes amazing i'm not even sad about it I'll experience the other flavors soon, but it's not yet. Okay, so they just brought out the sauces. Yellow finally, well, I didn't ask for them because we were too hungry. We just devoured it. But usually, I was gonna say you're supposed to um, make a dipping sauce for your um, dumplings. I just want to say that these look like 
elixirs of the evil queen in a Disney movie with the little diamond on Look the at the little lid. Yeah. Um, then you pour some vinegar like this. A little bit goes a long way. Would you like some? Yeah, I'll pop that angle. It goes a long way. Okay. Cap that. Put that back. I like to do a chili oil. That's my preference. Okay. And wipe your hands because your hands are probably covered in sauce. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so what you do is you give this baby a swirl, okay? You grab one of those lovely morsels of deliciousness. You let that baby swim in there. You pierce it for stability, hold it to your face, and one bite. You got the lovely kick of acid from the vinegar that cuts through the oil of the pan fried dumpling. And the hot oil adds an extra layer of umami. Okay, so the lovely pre-made sauce that Alice already took care of. And then I take one of these dumplings that are overly attached dumplings. I'm attached to them too. <laughs> and then uh, dump them good. So they're really dripping. Mm. Mm. Super good. Nice kick. Or just tastes even better. So we just finished our delicious, delicious dinner at the walk show. And I just noticed, but they also have a little sign that says jiaozi, if you can see um, the red sign. And it just means dumplings. And that's really nice. It's still, I still stand by this, but I honestly think the Wok Show has the best dumplings in Berlin. Like legitimate Chinese dumplings that I grew up eating, that I grew up with my grandma uh, making them, grew up watching our family friends make them. It, it, so it just feels super homey um, to me. And all the feeling, fillings in the dumplings are super savory, so Feeling delicious. And fillings. <laughs> As you can tell, I am totally food coma out. I'm stuffed to the brim, I'm super full, and so is Max. And we're both super stuffed and ready to go home and take a nap after this dinner because the dumplings were delicious. It's cute. Feels homey. What else can you, do you want? Yeah, just come here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs>